Hey guys, it's Frosty Tech here. Today is an all new video, and in this video, today I'll be showing you how you can create your own virtual RAM for speeding up your PC. So, before that, do make sure to subscribe and like, you're gonna help me a lot. And also, I haven't opened up a website, you can go and search for everything on that too. So, that being said, let's get started. So, first of all, all you need to do is if you're having this, anything you do, uh, you're having, it doesn't matter, just simply uh, go to control panel, you know how to go. Yeah, simply right type in control panel, it's on sure here. And from here just type in advanced in the search bar and click on view advanced system settings there's another way you can reach up here just simply right click on this pc and go into properties and then advanced system settings okay so now just go to performance click on settings first of all you can think you can do that you can adjust a pc for best performance or something but you need something from these so for example if i take on show thumbnails little icon rectangle selection smooth and edges of fonts and animate and animate okay now apply this now go to advance and the next thing which is very important is here so in case if you're gaming or something you need the best performance not for the background services but for program so add just best for programs it is already in program you can just leave it as it is now here on virtual memory click on change and it might be looking like something like this you can uncheck it or if it would be like system manage size then you can go to custom size and set both to 8192 and 8192 and click on set okay apply and okay and okay so that's gonna do the work but also do remember that it's gonna be eaten up space up here so last thing you wanna do is to go to this and restart your PC and that's gonna do the work so the next thing you can create using USB device I've done in this just uh, let me get normal first okay so here we are just right click on the MP flash or whatever you're having confirm it if it is FAT32 then do you make sure to check it on NDFS and click OK and format it but also remember you cannot or you won't be able to connect this page drive or anything you're inserting to your Android devices because NDFS is not supported in it now go to properties and ready boost now wait for it for two seconds once that done click on dedicate this device to ready boost and then use this device and that's gonna use the optional memory and click on apply and then ok that's gonna work as fast as your pc can and gonna create a swap file or a cache file inside that do not disturb anything inside this your space will be available for the time so that was it for, that was it for guys so do make sure to like and subscribe and the whole written post if you want it's given in on my website you can watch it out there and thanks for watching